Hi guys, we're going to make some speaker cabinets for my new snappy speakers, which are um, Mark Audio CHR90 units. Now they're full range drivers and they're only little, they're about four or five inches diameter, I think they're five I think. Um, and I've got cabinets that are already given to me, well designs that are given to me already. Um, and they are, um, let's have a quick look. So these are the cabinet designs and they're by Mark Audio themselves. Um, there's several designs. This one is for a double base reflex enclosure, which is kind of interesting. So I'm going to do that one. But I am going to alter it a little bit so that it's got, there's the picture, um, the rear is going to be a panel that screws in. Um, so I can remove the rear uh, because the cabinet that's shown in the design um, isn't openable, if that's a word. So I've had a quick redesign of the cabinet and I've worked out what size pieces of wood I want and I've got some nice bits of wood that will go with it. So there's my bits of wood. They are 1.8 metres by 0.6 metres, 600 mil. Uh, they are 18 mil thick, so they're nice little... Um, uh, usable bits of wood for speakers they're very neutral in tonality um, and they'll be easy to cut because they're mdf uh, so there we go um, i'm also possibly going to use some of this here 5.5 um, mil plywood maybe for the front panel on the speaker for the cover for the mesh or i might use the 1.2 stuff down there depends what I'm, how i'm feeling at the time um, and it's only i would have bought a bigger piece but it wouldn't fit in my car uh, not this car, because that's my old car, but my other car. Right, so, there we go. Let's cut these bits out, and we'll see how we do. So, that's it. That's where we're up to now. Uh, we'll get a bit of planing done in a minute, and then we'll glue it together. Then we'll fill all the holes, because it's not going to fit, it never does. And then we'll probably oak veneer it when we've finished. Um, now I have um, made sure before I start that I've got my tools sorted out. So I've sharpened my chisels up, be careful with those. And I've sharpened up my Stanley plane. So we're all ready with that. Um, and ready to go. Let's see what happens next. What could possibly go wrong? Ha. <laughs>
those are the little ports. They're made out of 32 mil waste pipe, uh, which is just under 30 mil on the inside, so it'll, it'll do with 30s. 99 millimeters long, as per the instructions. And this is a double reflex cabinet, which will be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Um, so we've done all the hole cutting for the ports. There's two on the back plate and there's one on the dividing shelf in between, which I can't find. Hey, it's there somewhere. Where's it gone? There it is there. Here we go. That's the dividing plate. So that will go um, halfway up the cabinet, about somewhere down there inside. Um, and they were easy enough to cut out. Uh, do watch out for the dust, because this is MDF, so we need to wear a mask and have vacuum and everything to make sure it's all super duper. So, right, what else do we need to do? We need to cut out the speaker holes at the front, and I'm not going to do that until the whole box is completed, because I think it's going to be easier. Um, other thing to note is that the rear panel, the back, I've changed the design a bit and made it so I'm going to screw this panel in uh, so it's a removable back, uh, but hopefully keeping it as sturdy as it should be. There we go. Hi folks, we're about halfway through making the speakers, speaker cabinets. There we go, nice speaker cabinet. Um, and we're just fitting them to make sure that they fit together before we glue them all up. I think I'll probably play in the sides a little bit to even them up um, after they've been sawn. Um, I have uh, finished all the little ports off, which I haven't paid a lot of money for. I'll just show you. Mm -hmm. 